I'm Steve. This is a video presentation on the basics of green screening. Um, there's just a few things that you'll need um, to be able to follow along. One is a computer video editing software program. Um, for this tutorial we will be using Sony Vegas, um, but um, Pinnacle, Adobe, any of those other programs, they all have the same type of tools. Secondly, you will need a green screen. Now this can be anything from a professional green screen to um, bright green paper or uh, a green sheet. Uh, yes, any of those will work. And third, of course, you need a video camera. <laughs> key is the process of mixing two images or frames together, removing the color from one image to reveal the background image or frame. Okay, this is just a short clip from an exercise video that we were filming the other day. Um, we have our subject here. And um, that's going to be the um, main focus of what we're about to do. Um, you can see that she's on a little trampoline. Um, and obviously she's in front of a green screen. Um, we've got this section over here that we need to cover up. And so we're going to do that quick. We'll go to the effects here. We'll go to the um, cookie cutter. This is just one of numerous ways that you can... Um, block out certain sections okay and there we go um, like I said there's other ways to do that that's just uh one way that I found is convenient and quick for us. Um, so now we've got a com all green background. Now what we want to do is make that invisible. So we will go to the chroma blur feature that's right here. Now if we add on a little blur, I usually pick the light blur because that's, that's plenty. Um, that will just round out these edges around the subject's arm so you don't get that pixelated look. It's, it sort of blends it with the background a little bit. Um, once we have that on there, we'll go to the chroma keyer. Um, we will pick green screen, unless you're using a red or a blue screen. Um, we've obviously got a green one, so that's the one we will pick. We'll go and drag it up onto our little film strip here and you see how it went from green to black that's because black we don't have any other background on there for right now first thing what we want to do is come down here click on the little eyedropper and match up the um, chroma green to our green that made it a little bit darker next we will want to go down and we want to click show mask only um, this makes it e a lot easier for us to uh, um, isolate our subject here. We want to start out with a high threshold and just move it down until our subject is a perfect white outline. Um, the only time that you want gray inside the white is if it's some type of shadow or whatnot. Um, so it looks like we've got a good, nice white um, silhouette, I guess. Um, then you want to take the low threshold. Remember, always start with the high and then do the low secondary. And this will darken back up our um, our background. You want to do that till um, pretty much the only thing left on our, our screen is the white silhouette of our subject, what, of whatever you are um, trying to isolate. And then we want to give it a little bit more blur just to make sure around the edges that it's not pixelated. That's very important. If you, if you don't do the blur, 
um, it's going to be pixelated and it's going to look terrible. But just a little bit, maybe anywhere, I never usually reach the point, um, 0 0.1, anywhere between 0 0.030 um, and uh, 0 0.060 um, is usually good, I don't know, basic uh, rule of thumb to go by. Now if we click, um, if we remove the, the mask, there we have our subject in full glory again. Um, but we don't want to stick with this black background, um, so we need to pick something else for her. And uh, this is really the fun part. Um, you can put pictures behind them. Um, you can put basically any background that you want. Um, if you've got a video clip of something, you can stick that in the background. Um, we're just going to make this one, this purple one that I've chosen, fit. And there we go. Or if you if you like the outdoors, maybe we can... Uh, there we go. I found a nice beach here. We'll just take this beach scene, drag it onto there. Um, we will adjust this one also so it fits uh, um, with our the correct size that we want. And... Um, like I said, you can put anything as your background. It, you really can uh, go crazy if you want to.